Hey, I just your boy Larry, and I'm back again with another video. If two plus two is four, I'm already having bad customer experience. What do you think this is? I got a rug in my car. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Girl. <laughs> <clears throat> so today, um, I just wanted to go and get some home decor. I'm always saying that, but like, I don't know. I just want to get some more stuff. I'm really looking for, um, I'm really looking for pillows for my couch, um, because <sighs> pillows and maybe one of those, uh, throw baskets. Um, so I'm going to go to Home Goods. Um, Marshalls and maybe TJ Maxx to see if they have anything. If they don't, then it's gonna be like, oh well, because I might look at Target too, but Target be taxing, so I don't really know, to be honest. But yeah, y'all, we are gonna go look and see what they got. And this is off of the today. I have a, I guess, nude sweater on, gray sweats, and I have the Soleil Bunbury Crocs in the Cochetta color or co I don't know what it is, co Cochetta color with some gray socks on because it's kind of cold. It's like 55 degrees. So this is what I'm wearing and I get hot easy. So I don't know if I'm going to bring a jacket or not. I might turn around and put a jacket on, but we'll see. And then I have this Bottega bag on, you know, <laughs> but yeah, y'all let's go. All right, hey y'all, it's the next day. Um, yesterday, I did not get done what I was supposed to do at all because I wanted to go look at some, um, I wanted to go look at some cars um, for my mom, just like show her like the cars um, that she was talking about she was interested in. And then I was like interested in the car that I wanted. Um, bro, it's just like car salesmen these days are just not good. Is it, I don't know. I'm trying not to make it like a race thing, but like, they're just like, like, dude, I went to the Audi dealership, right? The guy was like helpful at first, showed me the cars, everything. Then when I, when I was done, like showing the car, like showing my mom the cars and I was like, oh, I'm interested in this one. Like, can you unlock this one? Or can we talk about this one? He unlocks the car, right? And he's like, oh, um, I'm going to go greet these customers and I'll be back. The dude walks into the, I, I'm looking at the car on the phone. My mom's talking about the car, right? I look up and the guy's walking in the, into the building with the, with the, uh, uh the customers or whatever. I'm like, what the heck? So he's just gonna leave me outside in the car unlocked. Not once did he come back out there. Not once did he check back on me. He literally was sitting at his desk with the people. And if I was just like been sitting in the car, what? So you guys are not going to like, it's, well, I don't know. It was just like so stupid. I was over it, bro because it was just like everybody around me was getting help besides me. So then I, I was gonna leave, so I went to my car, but I was like, no, like, that's not like, no. Like, I'm not gonna let them just like get one over, but like, oh yeah, we just left him out there. Um, So I went back in the building. I'm standing there. There's multiple people walking around, multiple people getting helped. I'm standing there waiting. The guy is there, there at his desk talking to some people, just sitting there. Not once, not once did he get up from the desk. He could have been like, oh, one second, uh, let me go talk to this customer. Something like that. I was interact. He was interacting with me first before those people. So I stood there, waited, and waited, and waited, and waited. I got. I was like, okay, nobody. So then somebody came up to the uh, was sitting at the front desk or whatever. Um, I went up to him. I told him what happened, and he was like, oh, like I'm sorry. Um, what car are you interested in? And so he got the keys. And he was he was being really attentive. He like showed me the car, told me about the car and everything like that. Right. Bro, tell me why um, we're in the middle of him showing me the car, um, having good interaction. And then this guy comes up. I don't know if he's a manager or not. He's like, oh, um, I need you to go get this guy a loaner car, um, uh, a loaner car because his car's not working or something like that, right? I'm like, at this point, I'm like, okay, yeah, now I'm over and I'm about to leave. I'm like, never come back, right? So um, the guy's like, oh, um, I'll leave the car unlocked and I'll be, um, I'll leave the car unlocked and I'll be back in five minutes. And I was like, I said, you know what? It's okay. I was like, um, I handed him the keys back. I was like, you all have a lot going on and I'm good. So I handed him the keys back and I just left. And I was on the phone with my mom. So I was like telling her, she was like, what happened? And I was like, well, 
that guy came up to him and said that he needed him to get a loaner car um, and then he was gonna leave the car on a lot to leave me in the car for like five minutes or whatever. And I'm like, if I just told you what happened to me previously with the guy unlocking the car and just leave me in the car and just going in the building and not even coming back, like, why would you like, you know, it's like, if two plus two is four, I'm already having bad customer experience. What do you think this is? That's bad customer service right and you want me you want me to be okay with that and spend thousands of dollars on a car when you're not even you're not even you know you're not even giving me the energy that i want the the energy that i need for me to be like oh my gosh like i love the customer service the cars everything that i wanted and i'm ready to jump on it bro i really wanted that i really was interested in that car but it's just like i'm not gonna buy from somewhere where i'm not wanted or somewhere where i'm clearly not like you know, like they're not interested in, in like trying to, I don't know, it's just customer service. Like I just feel like it's like not working, it's not good. Then I went to the Hyundai dealership because I wanted to look at the uh, Elantra, the Dionics, cause I want an electric car, right? Oh my gosh, I get there, the guy's busy with the other people. I'm like, okay, that's fine, like I'll wait. Bro, I waited so long and then it's like so annoying. It's like all these other associates around here. They're just sitting there talking, whatever, whatever, whatever nobody came up to me and so about like maybe like 40 45 minutes later after i had went outside to look at the cars by myself because i was like okay i'm just gonna let the time go by like go out here and look and maybe it's gonna be free bro i come back in the building just sitting there on the phone with my mom i'm like okay yeah i'm about to leave to my mom and then this guy comes up to me he's like oh um what are you looking for again i can't help you and i'm like oh now after almost an hour somebody wants to come up to me and talk to me it's just like you guys want us to spend this money, but you guys are not even like trying to interact or trying, putting in the effort. Like, I don't want to spend thousands of dollars at a place where I'm not greedy when I come in the door and stuff like that. It's just like common, like, it's not even that much. I'm not even asking for that much. I feel like that is the bare minimum. You are selling someone a car. This is a huge purchase. You need to interact with the customer. You need to greet them when they come in the door. You need to help them. You need to offer them water, whatever y'all have. That's like the normal thing at a car dealership. Am I tripping or am I not? All right, y'all, so I'm in Home Goods. I'm looking at pillows. Um, I got a rug in my car. I'm kind of obsessed with it because it's the, the kind of rug that I wanted. It's like, you will see right there, it's like marble. It's beige and white, it's a five by seven. I'm contemplating on it and trying to see what else they have, what kind of other pillows and stuff like that. So, I don't know, we'll see what I find in here. Mm, wow, look, that kind of matches. Ooh. Rachel Roy looks pretty good. There's just two of them though. Mm. Card, just All right, y'all. So I'm back home, and girl, I... <laughs> so I found some stuff as I showed y'all in the store when I was in there, and <sighs> so okay. So I'm gonna just show y'all. This is like what my living room is looking like right now. Got my great couch, my two little anime people, slime, Asta. I got a great couch, great soap, girl. What, what am I talking about? Gray, gray on my blanket. I use it as a blank blanket all the time. Plain, boom, right? So, what I got from Home Goods, I got this marble, nudish, white colored rug. Um,. I got this dark blue pillow. I got two of these. I got two of the dark blues. And the reason I got dark blue is because, if y'all can see, this is dark blue, right? Look at the picture. Every picture has some type of dark blue in it, or purple, violet, dark blue. So I got these dark blue pillows. Let's go with that. I got two of these, and I got two of the white ones. And, Let's see how it goes, how what it looks like. So I'm gonna set you guys up and then I'm gonna like set everything up 
I like time lapsed it so you guys can see me like setting it up. So yeah, let's go. I'm trying to Or should I just put all the pillows in this little corner right here? So either I'm going to put the pillows on the outside like that or I want to put them in that corner right there. I don't know. Because on the outsides, here. Yeah. And on both outsides. I like that. It's really what it looks like right now. With the picture, everything. Okay, minus the black. Black, uh, what you call it, blanket. So I got them in each corner. Then I'm just gonna have it like, hold on. Then y'all can see the rug. I mean, that's kind of cute. And then a blue come, the blue comes in from the picture up there. And the dark blue. Gray sofa, marble rug, which I need to move over just a little bit. Uh, let me move my rug over just a little bit. Right here. Dang, why did you just like? <laughs> yeah. 
So that's what it looks like, you guys. Right now, anyway. I don't think this is bad. I think the rug fits the space. I feel like if I if I wanted it to come all the way out to like where the where the couch was, it would just take over the space. So I think this is a good size. It's in the perfect position right now. It's just a matter of the colors. The colors going together, you guys. What do you guys think? You guys think that the colors go? I'm minus this yellow. Oh shoot. Minus the yellow part. I would definitely be cutting this if I decide that this rug is like everything I wanted, you know? But I'm obsessed with it, I love it. That's what I was looking for. This rug is everything I was looking for. Yeah. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much gonna be all for today's video. Um, just decorating and trying to make it homey in here, you know? Not only because I have a guest coming, but I've been like pondering and thinking about like what I want to get, what I want my theme to be, what I want it to be. The first step was hanging my art. So hanging the art is like, there's dark blues in there. There's blues in every picture. There's whites in every picture. There's beiges in every picture. So I just felt like the white beiges and the blues could really be drug out with the pillows and the rug. So yeah, y'all, um, like, comment, subscribe, and show your boy some love. This is the first of many more. I ordered some more artwork, some large ones for my walk-in area. So I'm not sure if I'll add that to this video. I might, I might not. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love.